So, uh, Sadhguru, uh, in your independence address, which you gave every year, uh, you started this time, you, it was focused entirely on your Rally for Rivers campaign, which you are on at the moment. So, would you like to tell us something about it and why you think it's so important? <coughs> See, my engagement with uh, mountains, forests and rivers is right from my childhood. When I say my engagement, I'm, I've lived in jungles by myself. I've floated down rivers all by myself. So I did not experience these forests, mountains and rivers as uh, some ecological features, but as throbbing, living uh, entities by themselves. So in the last twenty-five years, I've been watching with some concern the level of depletion that's happening. But I notice in the last seven to eight years' time, the depletion or the rate of depletion is so, so sharp that it's alarming. And by 2030, it's estimated that we will have only fifty percent of the water that we need for our survival in this country. And we as a generation of people have had the largest bite of this planet. Never before another generation in the history of humanity has taken such a big bite of the planet to a point where our children won't have anything to bite upon, particularly in India, considering the population pressures in the land. So, Rally for Rivers is a comprehensive draft policy resolution so that all the stakeholders are taken care of. In my mind, and the, this is the way it should be, the first stakeholder is the river, second is the farmer, third is the larger community, fourth is the government and the local administrations and other aspects which are involved. But the first is the river. We are fighting about how to use the river. We are not talking about how to revitalize the river, how to save the river. If this doesn't come into our ethos, but we've reached a point, a time to encourage people, NGOs and uh, corporates and others to do some work is over. We've reached a point where we need a mandatory enforceable policy as to how we should behave with our water bodies. It is no more an individual priority, it is not a whim of uh, individual person as to what we do with the rivers. There has to be an enforceable policy because River is not private property, river is national treasure. 